This video is inspired by the meticulous research found within a recent PubMed article detailing an innovative approach to combating cancer. It delves into the intricate strategies aimed at transcription replication conflicts, a notorious culprit for DNA double-stranded breaks and genomic instability, which are pivotal in the development and progression of cancer. The document presents a series of seven compelling images that unravel the complexities of this method and its potential as a game-changing cancer treatment. As an independent cancer researcher, I was captivated by the promise shown by a novel compound in its early trial phase, AOH 1996, a drug designed to disrupt the delicate dance of DNA replication and repair, is currently undergoing phase one trials. As of February 2024, the City of Hope Cancer Research Center has yet to release further updates on its status. This video seeks to shed light on the groundbreaking work surrounding AOH 1996 and to provide clarity on the mechanisms that could pave the way for future anti-cancer therapies. Join me as we explore and demystify the cutting-edge science that might one day revolutionize cancer treatment. Welcome cancer research enthusiasts, scholars and future contributors to the field of cancer research. Today, we're delving into an exciting development in oncology, the first trial-based exploration of a novel compound, AOH 1996, which has shown potential in selectively targeting cancer cells. We will analyze the data, understand the methodologies, and appreciate the nuances of drug discovery in the context of precision medicine. By addressing the critical issue of transcription replication clashes, a significant cause of DNA disruptions and instability in our genomes, we open the door to potentially groundbreaking cancer treatments. Central to DNA duplication and repair, the protein PCNA is a target for cancer intervention. City of Hope team of scientists, a major cancer research center in United States has developed AOH 1996, a small molecule that inhibits PCNA, selectively targeting and eliminating cancer cells. This compound not only strengthens the interaction between PCNA and RPB1, a key component of RNA polymerase II, but also strategically removes PCNA from regions where the DNA is being actively copied, leading to targeted DNA damage in cancer cells. Resistance to AOH 1996 arises when RPB1 is mutated to prevent its bond with PCNA, underscoring the specificity of the drug's action. Remarkably, AOH 1996 can be taken orally, remains stable within the body, and is shown to shrink tumors effectively on its own or when used with other treatments, all without apparent side effects. Targeting the resolution of transcription replication conflicts could thus emerge as an innovative strategy to exploit a weakness unique to cancer cells. Cell cycle disruption. We begin with the fundamentals of cell division and the pivotal role of PCNA in DNA replication. Image one reveals the impact of AOH 1996 on cell cycle progression through PI staining, a classic measure of DNA content in cells using flow cytometry. Notice the accumulation of cells in the sub-G1 phase, indicative of DNA fragmentation and apoptosis. Inducing apoptosis, in image 2 we observe the results of tunnel assays, a technique that labels DNA breaks to identify apoptotic cells. AOH 1996-treated cells show a significant increase in tunnel positivity, demonstrating the compound's pro-apoptotic effects in a cancer-specific context. Colony formation inhibition The colony formation assay in image 3 is a robust in vitro method to assess long-term proliferation. AOH 1996 drastically reduces colony numbers, which we infer as a disruption of the cancer cell's ability to survive and proliferate under drug-induced stress. Pharmacokinetics and efficacy. In image 4, we explore the pharmacokinetics of AOH 1996 using metrics such as AUC, area under the curve, 
and C-Max maximum serum concentration to understand the drug's bioavailability and clearance. The Xenograph studies further affirm the drug's efficacy in vivo by showing tumor volume reduction in treated mice. PCNA Interaction Modulation Image 5 presents chromatography and Western blotting techniques that elucidate how AOH1996 alters PCNA's interaction profile, especially with RPB1, a subunit of RNA polymerase 2. This is a key insight into the drug's mechanism of action, transcriptomics and proteomics integration. In image 6, the integration of transcriptomic and proteomic data is exemplified. This image provides a circos plot, a visual tool that helps us correlate genomic alterations with protein expression changes, offering a holistic view of AOH 1996's cellular impact. Mechanistic insights and DNA damage. Lastly, image 7 presents a combination of cell fractionation, western blotting and fluorescence microscopy to demonstrate AOH 1996's effects on DNA replication and damage. This multifaceted approach gives us a window into the cellular chaos unleashed by the drug, leading to cancer cell demise. A closing remarks. As we stand at the forefront of precision oncology in 2024, compounds like AOH 1996 exemplify the innovative strides we are making in targeting the Achilles heel of cancer cells. This research embodies the meticulous work and analytical rigor that forms the cornerstone of advanced therapeutics development. Before you go, I encourage you to engage with this content. Like this video if you found it informative, subscribe for more deep dives into cutting-edge research, and support our endeavor to bring science to life. Your interaction fuels our commitment to disseminating knowledge that could one day change the landscape of cancer therapy.